Hey everybody, this is Alchemista. This is Rise of the Red Shirt, the final episode of Season 2. I have regained my faculties. Slightly. And we are going to be finishing off Season 2 with a bang with Temporal Ambassador. Now, Temporal Ambassador isn't in the episodes, it's in the in-progress. The reason why it's in the in-progress is because you get Temporal Ambassador from Earth Space Dock. We all know how I love going to Earth Space Dock, so I already got it earlier. Admiral, we've detected an anomaly in the Azure Nebula. Because of the Tholian assembly... Assembly? It is a Tholian assembly. But yeah. Because of the Tholian activity in that area, we're concerned that they may be attempting to open a rift to the Mirror Universe. I need a ship to go out there and check it out. So for this mission, you will get 480 dilithium ore, 20 fleet marks, and uh, two special requisition packs if you complete it before the 14th. Uh, you'll get the Support Cruiser, which is a Commander-level cruiser, and you will get the Support Cruiser Retrofit until the 14th, which is a Tier 5 version of the Ambassador class. So if you like the Ambassador class, do this mission. Do it now. You can do it from Lieutenant 6 onwards. Uh, you get the Dilithium Ore and the Fleet Marks as a reward th after the first time you go through it. The first time you go through, you get a costume piece. The Yesterday's Enterprise Belt and Straps, I guess. Uh, they had this uh, uh, unique variant of the TNG uniform in Yesterday's Enterprise, which this episode is a sequel to. Uh, the, it was the TNG uniforms, but they were slightly more military. They had, like, these belts... These really 80s looking belts with these uh, with these straps, and uh, the 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 uniforms just look slightly more butch and uh, less like the jumpsuits that you uh, less like the the 80s style jumpsuits and more like a more militaristic federation of that era. Um, you only get the belts and the straps. I imagine the actual costume is probably going to be in the TNG pack, like that and the scants whenever that comes out. That, the scans, and the, the medical physician's cloak. Uh, cloak. It's a cloak. It's a shadowy cloak. It's, a, it's like a lab coat. I imagine that'll be in there as well. That'd be really cool. Let's go ahead and make it primary, and we will transwarp to the Azure Nebula, where the mission takes place. 3,600 energy credits to transwarp there. Yeesh! Captain, Starfleet Command reports that a space-time anomaly has been seen in, the area, in this area of space. With the Tholian activity in this area, they wanted us to check it out and see what we can learn. I have it on sensors, sir. Locking in coordinates now. So there's an anomaly, and there's a Tholian ship right in front of it. Oop. That was odd. I'm no longer detecting anything in front of us, but I'm picking up a similar, or possibly the same anomaly at a new location. I've updated the coordinates on the map. It happened again! The anomaly has jumped to a new location. I can't keep doing this forever, sir. We just need to get close enough for a sensor sweep, or it can't keep doing this forever. Not again. Science team is working on extending active sensor range, Captain. New coordinates locked in. The anomaly is holding steady at its current location, sir. Scanners are ready for use on your orders. Freighter Wall Glinde requesting permission to dock at Tholian Base.
Hey, Frankie. I got the shipment. Do you have a question? Yeah, I'm back with the shipment. Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomeek soup. It almost tastes like something. Thanks. Do you need anything else? Yeah, tell me about yourself. My name is Franklin Drake. I was born on a little colony world on the edge of Cardassian space. After the Federation fell to the Klingons, a lot of people moved out of the war zones to try to make new lives. It worked. For a while. When the Bajorans discovered that wormhole and the Dominion invaded, no world, no matter how remote, was safe. I signed on to help fight the Dominion. For all the good that did. The Dominion swallowed the Bajorans whole, and then joined up with the Breen and the Cardassians to destroy the Klingons and the Romulans. After that, it was just a matter of carving up the Alpha Quadrant. The Tholians got this piece of space in exchange for signing a non-aggression pact with the Dominion. It wasn't hard to see that the only way to survive was to sign on. Now I'm like you. I work for the Tholians, and in exchange I get a cot, a couple of replicated meals, and the chance to live for one more day. The little luck I'll get through tomorrow, too. Do you need anything else? That's all for now. So yeah, a whole lot of weird stuff suddenly going on. Oh, you look familiar. Hello. Tell me about yourself. I'm Locke. I've been here for about six weeks now, working in the cargo bays. I'm pretty good at fixing things, even the worn out junk the Tholians give us. You look familiar. So do you. Have you been in any other work camps in the sector? Hello. Tell me about yourself. For all I know, you could be informing on me to the Tholians. But if I don't answer, you'll probably tell them I'm hiding something. Fine. My name is Deton. I was born on Romulus. After the war, I signed on to a freighter crew working at Bolian. My captain got in trouble with the Tholians, and I ended up here. I'm a true and loyal servant of the Tholians, and I don't want any trouble. Now go away and leave me alone. I have work to do. Don't bother me. <laughs> what a jerk. Stupid spiders. Oh, I will so beat your ass. Why? Why would you care about me? No one cares about me. I don't even care anymore. Go away. Go away. And leave me alone. Hello. Who are you? I'm Hunter, but most people around here call me Chief. I do a little bit of everything. Security, shipwork, cargo hauling, anything that pays will get me to the next port. You look familiar. Yeah, I've seen you around. Weren't you the one caught cheating in that Tongo game on Drazana? Heard that Ferengi had his Nashikan buddies break your arms. How long were you out of action? Hey, Morn. 
Tell me about yourself, Morn. Okay, fine. I'm sure he'll talk to me when he's ready. Your monkey suit's a different color than ours. Have we met? No. Who are you? You're just asking to be polite, aren't you? Not really. I find idle chatter so tedious these days. Still, it's a way to pass the time. My name is Rugen Skyle. I used to be a member of the Cardassian government until I had a conflict with a rival faction. Politics on my world can be quite cutthroat. Now I'm here. It's better than execution, but only just. The food here is terrible, and the company <laughs> is worse. Well, screw you, too. Alternate allies. You get that for talking to everyone. A to nay. Hey. Yes. Hey. My name is Tanay, and for many years I served in Starfleet. After the war was lost, I joined a resistance movement attempting to liberate the core worlds. We failed. We were able to keep the Klingons at bay, but not the Dominion and their allies. After the Breen destroyed Earth and the Dominion occupied Beta Z, continued resistance was illogical. Against all reason, we continued our fight as our resistance cells fell, one by one. You might say I was one of the fortunate ones. I survived. I would not agree. Do you require anything else? Not right now. Hi. How are you? How can I assist you? Tell me about yourself. I'm Valkel Sean, captain of the Belfast. I run freight for the Tholians. Basic supplies, mostly. But once in a while, they need me to pick up dilithium from the mines on Remus. We're in dock here for a few days, getting some repairs done. Cut too close to the Konos blast zone on my last trip back, and ran into some raiders. They won't trouble anyone again. But they fused half my power conduits and fried the deflector before I managed to take them out. If there's anything else you need, let me know. Your monkey suit's a different color than mine. I will be free. Cool. My name is Obasek. Once my people served the Romulans. Now we have new masters. I will serve for now. Because to refuse would be my death. But when the time is right, we'll rise up against our oppressors and destroy them. If you would be free, watch for an opportunity. The Tholians will show their weakness soon enough. I'm sure you'll come waste my time. through for me when I need your help to take on the Tholians. No problem. No problem. No problem. What's your story? This place isn't what it's supposed to be. Tell me about yourself. My name is Neelan. I am a wanderer, if you will. I go from place to place, listening to the universe, to the people. And then I look at you in this place, and I can't explain it, but it's wrong, all of it. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Something's not right here. Well, then can you tell me what's supposed to happen? I can't see it clearly. I just know that something is wrong. That woman over there, does she have a daughter? Someone named Sela? I know that's important, but there are a lot of other things. I'm sorry, it's difficult to put into words. What can I tell you, what I can tell you, is that if someone asks for your help, give it. That will set things right. Something's not right here. Cryptic metaphor. I bid you adieu. Hey, Bavette, what's up? What do you want? I want you to tell me about yourself. My name is Bavat. Before the Tholians conquered the Empire, I was the leader of a great house. I sat on the High Council 
and spoke for the Empire on more than a dozen worlds. None of that matters now. The past is nothing to a slave. I will die here, in service to the Tholians, just like you will. Hmm. Ask your questions! Looks like Bavat went down like a pussy in more than one universe. Hey, Ferengi lady, I remember you. Sort of, even though I'm not supposed to. You looking for something? Tell me about yourself. I'm Farrick. Willin' and Din is my game. At least it was, until the webheads put a stop to any trade that doesn't benefit them. Still, I know how to get a few things. You looking for bonus replicator rations? Maybe a bottle of authentic pre-war Romulan ale. If you've got something to trade, I've got what you need. Hey, I got things to do with you. Yeah, you got sitting out round staring into the distance to do. You get back to that. I'll be busy. Saving the universe. Oh. Why are you looking at me, creepy lady? Stop that. Stop it. Well, that emote failed. Hey. 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 Hi. How you doing? Do I know you? <laughs> you look familiar. I get that a lot. I must have one of those faces. Well, tell me about yourself. My name is Lima. I've served on a few ships, but cargo haulers don't need science officers, so it's harder to find a berth these days. You don't know of a ship that's looking for a crew, do you? I'm willing to work hard. I'll even cook if that's what the ship needs. Anything to get out of this work camp. Okay, I'm going to pet my tribble that I shouldn't have in this reality. Hi, creepy lady. Why are you following me? We need your help. Tell me about yourself. My name is Tasha Yar. I was Chief Tactical Officer of the USS Enterprise D. In my timeline, we were fighting a war against the Klingons, and I was proud to do my part to protect the Federation. What I learned, though, in the correct timeline, history as it should be, I died a meaningless death. I accepted the risks when I put on the uniform, and I don't regret what happened. But if I'm going to die, I want it to mean something. That's why I chose to go back with the Enterprise C. I know this is a lot to accept, but you have to trust us. Well, so far there's no us. There's just you standing in front of me telling me some weird time travel story. Uh, might I add, after following me very... with your very creepy, creepy gaze. So, I'm just gonna go get something to eat, and you're just gonna stand there until somebody else shows up who, you know, can corroborate your insane story, lady. So, yeah. I'm gonna get myself some cat food. Human cat food. Human dietary supplement 40... <laughs> God damn it. I haven't seen you around here before, Captain. You're either James Bond, Mackenzie Calhoun, or some incredibly generic representation of an actual actor who was in an episode of Star Trek at some point. 
Got a minute to talk? Tell me about yourself. Call me Castillo. Not a lot to tell, I guess. I'm Lieutenant J.G. Richard Castillo. Helm officer of the USS Enterprise C. An unwilling time traveler. I'm normally the helm officer, but... I'm senior officer now that Captain Garrett and the rest of the senior staff are gone. We've got to do what the captain would want. Get us back to where we belong. And finish what we set out to do. Well, that's great. What does that have to do with me? I know this is hard to accept, but we're not supposed to be here. I'm new here. No, I asked around about you, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew. We were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly, moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. Uh, who is us? Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. We passed through. And because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. That's your uh, what? Oh, timeline, right. Go on. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war. And the Federation was losing. Badly. We tried to go back to set things right. But then the Klingons found us in the Enterprise D. And there's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. Lead on. Yeah, I gotta go talk to the crazy lady. Tell me about it. We need your help. Why don't you tell me about your? Yeah, I'm. I'm coming. Got a minute to talk? Okay, tell me your crazy story, crazy lady. We need your help. What's going on here? I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. How does she know that? When the Enterprise C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline. One in which I was alive, but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. How does she know that I was a Starfleet officer? I have never met Tasha Yar in my life. Like, how does she know I was a Starfleet officer? How in the utter hell? This is a completely different timeline. 60 years ahead. I could have been born at any point during that timeline after she died in a timeline that she never existed in in as she is now. So how the hell, how in the utter hell, how in the absolute hell could she know who I am or who I was and that I was a member of Starfleet? Z Zero chance. Moving on. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Romulan attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again and... You can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline, but to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here. And as soon as we get back to her, 
We'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. <laughs> You know what? Sure, count me in. Whatever. What do you need? Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. <sighs> I'd go myself, but we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't suspect you're involved. That's the idea, at least. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there, it's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. Sure, I'll do it. This'll be funny. What next? Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the guards into the tunnels easier. Thanks. Eh, this'll be funny. Hey, Grumpy! I heard you got something for me. Do you have a question? Yarn Castillo said you have the key? Take it. Here's a map, too. You'll need it in the tunnels. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even care, but... There's something about Yarn Castillo. I know they believe they can make a difference makes me want to believe. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll take all the risks now. Sure. Do you need anything else? Need you to get a freaking personality. I don't know why, but every time I see Franklin Drake, I feel the urge to punch the man. Maybe there's a universe where he's less of an asshole than he is here. Hey, Obasek, buddy. Hey, got something for you. Involves Tholians and like screwing them over. You in? I will be free. Your plan is foolhardy. If you want to die, do it without my assistance. Well, sorry, pussy. Maybe there's a universe where Obasek has a pair of balls. Hey, Slomic, want to have an actual purpose? It's too bright in here. Well, shit. Morn! You're big. Can you take him? Crap. Hey, Hunter. Crap. Hey, Rugen! Rugen. Rugen, Rugen, Rugen. You know what? If death might is not that much of a step down from this place, want to piss off a Tholian for us? And what do I get for risking my life for you? Nothing, that's what. Not even a drop of canar. Find someone else to do your bidding, Captain. I don't take orders from anyone. Well, sorry. Maybe he's less of a drunk in another universe. Hey, Tanae. Yes? Crap. Well, she won't listen to what I have to say. Oh, it just leaves you. Captain to captain. Are you gonna, you know, could you... How can I assist you? Just pick a fist fight with, a, like, a walking Gundam. Can you do that? Somebody needs to pick a fight with him. I don't remember the Federation or Starfleet. The war was almost over before I was born. This is the only life I know. One of servitude. 
Deprivation. Loss. I want something better. That freedom my parents and grandparents told me about. I want the Federation back. I'll help. Just tell me what you need. Piss off the Tholian over there. Oh my god, he's doing it. Oh, but sec, this man has balls you can only be in envy of. We won't be your slaves. Oh, shit. I just wanted you to, like... I... Be... Be cool! Uh... Okay. Well, that's terrible. I hope he's all right. Well done. Those maintenance tunnels are a maze. They make navigating the Jeffries tubes on the Enterprise look easy. I recommend using the map to keep track of where you've been, what doors lead away from which room, and where you are currently. Okay, so we're going hardcore old school here. We have a hand-drawn map. We don't have an actual working map function, so we got to do it ourselves. Why would the Tholians put a system in place that could create a hostile environment for them? The Tholians are very precise. They want to learn everything they can about the ships they're capturing. All rooms connected to the hangars have their atmospheres exchanged to prevent damage to the systems they're dismantling. Their also, sometimes they force humanoids to do the work for them, so they'll pump in something we can handle. That makes sense. Consult the wisest Tribble. The Tribble trills softly at me. Elder Tribble, please share your wisdom! The Tribble coos for a moment and then rolls gently towards you looking for food. You realize you're talking to a Tribble. Maybe you've been in these access tunnels too long. Or maybe it's the gas fumes. The Tribble makes a pleased sound. The wisest Tribble of them all. Yes. Thank you for your wisdom. I have no idea what you said, but I will remember it. Always. Okay, use maintenance ducts. Okay, view, hand-drawn map. I'm sure that doesn't do anything. Oh dear. An identified corpse. Oh. Oh, what the hell happened to this guy and how long has he been here? Oh. He's dead, Jim. Who's Jim? So wait, is my character suddenly is he like Deadpool? Is he like aware? You know, is he, is he like Deadpool and he's aware of like 
you know, the... He's aware of, like... That's a bad place to go. Yes. Let's not go there. So he, he he's, like, aware that he's in a video game, so he can, like, talk to the captions? Is that what's going on? Okay, do I go... I wonder what happens if I push this. Lower amb ambit temperature, what does that do? Let's see. View hand-drawn map. Where am I? I could go to one or the other. I shall go to this one. Search crate. Polaroid compression pistol. Huh. Everyone remember where we parked? I don't. Where am I? I need an adult! It's in here. There it is. Close methane gas vents. Vent control room atmosphere. Great oxygen based atmosphere. Well, that did it. Um, that's the wrong way. Is it this way? Is it that way? Oh my god, where am I? There we go. Done, 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 done. Can I go through here? No. Here cannot be gone through. And if you look to out the window ish, you will see an incredibly gorgeous model of the Enterprise C. This is actually pretty screen accurate, uh, as far as, like, the markings are concerned. Uh, it was actually a little bit irksome when I first saw it. At least they haven't started taking the ship apart yet. It was actually a little bit irksome when I first saw it, because, like, why does the galaxy look this good? It really does. It looks gorgeous. Uh, the amb they really did a really good job with the Ambassador. Hi, Tasha. We don't have much time. What's your specialty? I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. I'm also fairly confident that with enough time, I can release the docking clamps holding the ship, or take down the Tholian's web shielding. We don't have much time. Okay. Take that tractor beam offline. Hey, Tanay. I am here to assist. What's your specialty? My first posting in Starfleet was to an Ambassador-class vessel. Get out! I am familiar with most of the ship's systems, but I spent several months working on a refit of the ship's computer. I am confident Overriding I can restore the ship's protocols. power levels quickly. Also, I do have some experience with Tholian technology from my time in the Resistance. If you prefer, I could attempt to deactivate the web shield or tractor beams. I'm changing the targeting subroutines for the what tractor do you beams. Require? See. Uh, restore the ship's power levels. Let's see. We need to work together. What do you want me to do? Uh, let's see. Release the docking clamps. His specialties are the docking clamps. Tractor beam is disabled. Okay. 
Okay, deactivating Tholian webbing. All right. Okay, we're free to fly as soon as you guys catch up. I did my job. So, the cool thing is, as they progress, you can actually see the results out here. Like, you can already see the tractor beam is disabled, as Tashiar said. I disabled the webbing, and as Tanay brings the ship's power levels online, ship powers up, and finally, when Castillo turns off the docking clamp, Really cool. This mission's really cool. Head to ship. Alright, folks, now all we need to do is run into a cutscene. Horror movie staying. I thought you deactivated all the security protocols. Uh, that was your job, Blondie. So yeah, uh, again, this model of the ambassador is gorgeous. The little like markings, that like down to like the markings next to the phaser arrays. Why doesn't the galaxy look this good? Like there's some uh, markings there. Those are the same sort of markings that are supposed to be on the galaxy nacelles. By the way, it just looks so good. Come on, guys. Do you want me to do that for you? I know a few things about force fields. If I could tell you to do it, I would. But it doesn't let me. Having trouble? You do know that we could have Tholians swarming us any minute, right? I'm sorry, crazy lady. Who was asking who for help here? If you want to do it, Feel free to walk right up to it and do it. No? Okay, then I'll get to work on it. I thought we took care of everything. Starfleet Protocol 547C clearly states... I don't that think the Tholians have heard of Protocol 547C. Really great looking ship model. This is probably this is probably the first and only time in the game where you actually like walk up to the ship model like this. And I do think this is the ship model, because if it were the ESD model, you would see inside the Bussard Collectors, and you can't. So I think this is basically just like an ups, a massively upscaled uh, ship model. And uh, they really need to do more stuff like this with the player ships, because this looks fantastic. They need to do more stuff like this. They're, your ship, like, they need to, like, give your ships, tr uh, like, uh, more of a treatment like this. Because it makes the ship more tangible and more real for the player when they can walk up right next to it and see it like this. And see how big these things really are. And they need to make the galaxy look better because it desperately needs it. Let's go in. Board the Enterprise C. So, yes, as a matter of fact... You are flying the Enterprise C. You are, in fact, in command of the Enterprise C, and all of your skills are nuts. You have assumed command of the starship fucking Enterprise. Captain, I'm detecting Tholian mesh weavers headed for our position. They have no idea what's coming for them. Trust me, Tasha, I'm kind of good at killing Tholians at this point. Tholian 
Web weavers on an intercept course. Building in Rexus is moving into weapons range. I recommend evasive action. Evasive action, sure. Don't track to me, bro. Hey, I said don't track. Fire! Folding in Tarantula on sensor. Eh. I will ask for help when I need it. You look like you could use a little help. Hmm. Feedback pulse. Let's throw a little of that on. Hey, what are you? Photonic shockwave. No, nope, that did nothing. Let's see how you like it. I had that handled. The way is clear, and the temporal anomaly has been stabilized. Head for the anomaly, Enterprise. It will put you back where you need to be. Who are you? How do you know where we need to be? That's my job. The details aren't important. Restoring the timeline is. Get moving. The Tholians are already starting to regroup. Thanks for the help. Now, this does make it somewhat weird that the Enterprise C actually loses, considering it just took on a Tholian fleet, albeit with help from a 29th century starship. Um, it says Pastak. Pastak, get it? Past time ship? Ha ha ha! <laughs> oh god. All right, let's get out of here before this before that terrible pun gives me an aneurysm. I don't know if Captain Walker is a canon character. Like it was he the was he like the lieutenant from like Relativity? Is that who he is? I don't remember. Just like I don't remember who exactly Nalen was. I I I feel like I should know who Nalen was, but I don't quite remember him. My lore fails me. Fly through the temporal anomaly. What the? Where am I? What am I doing here? I'm sure you've realized by now. You're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise C and compromise that timeline as well. What are you going to do with me then? 
We'll send you back to your time. But this is there my time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. So how do I get back? As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself. Scan for anomaly. Is that I suppose is that an O or is that an A? It's tiny. I think that's an O. That's it's supposed to be anomaly. Manomanomanomaly. So okay. I was the time had been altered. I was native of that timeline. So that was my native timeline. It history had simply been altered, so my circumstances were different. So I wasn't native to one timeline or the other, because they're the same timeline, but just significantly altered. So, if I had gone back in time on the Enterprise-C and died fighting the Romulans, how would that have compromised the timeline when Tasha Yar is doing the exact same thing? Like, I know Tasha Yar is, like, dead or something, but she's still, like, but... <sighs> this makes zero sense. So let's go ahead. Now, uh, the problem with this mission is that it messes... It plays havoc with your uh, boff assignments. So let's go ahead and reassign everybody to where they're supposed to be. Sort of a theme, really, with this mission. And let's scan for the anomaly. New deflector animation. That's strange, sir. I thought I had sens I thought I had something on sensors, but it's gone. Everything is quiet. No Tholians or other ships within range. And the anomaly Starfleet Command wanted us to investigate isn't here either. We can depart the system on your orders, sir. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. So, why would the relativity care? Or their time ship. Why would they care? The Wells class. Alright. So it says to return to Engineer Connie on Earth's space dock. I will not. There wasn't anything there. That's strange. So. Now you get to choose what you want. And I love you more. The first time you go through, you get basically everything. And, uh, the... Yesterday's Enterprise... The Yesterday's Enterprise costume pieces, the, um... And both ships. And that's gravy. Let's see. So let's go ahead and pop onto the Waglande Bridge. Really quick. And I'll give you a look at the Yesterday's Enterprise belts. The belts. If it ever loads. Cause sto. Cause you know. I'm tired. <laughs> I just, oh, I'm so tired. I've just marathoned recording sessions this evening. I'm spent. Ugh. Load! Load! Load for the love of all mercy! Hunter, get the fuck out of that chair. That belongs to Nell. So, the belt Lima is wearing. Lima and, um... Somebody else. Somebody else? No. Nah. Somebody else is rocking it, too. But so am I. So I'm going to switch to, let's see, change outfit, veteran uniform 2. And uh, let me find good some good light for it. That is the Yesterday's Enterprise belt. It is 80s as all get out. Um, it is, it, it, really, it really is. It's really metallic. And uh, something you can do is if you go to the costume editor and uh, 
when you equip a belt, you can change its colors. You can't change the colors of the Yesterday's Enterprise belt, but you can change another belt's colors and then switch back to the Yesterday's Enterprise belt, and the belt will now have the colors that you assigned the previous one. So I assigned it to be like a darker black to go better with the silver uniform here. It's 80s as hell. It, it looks really cool. It's just this metallic belt with, like, Starfleet symbols on it. Looks really good with Jupiter 5 veteran. That's a good-looking belt. But the straps are less good-looking. Like, they just kind of look like really flimsier uh, versions of this. And I don't remember them being that shiny on the show. In fact, I don't remember them being shiny at all. They were more like just, like, white straps of cloth on the show from what I remember although that was like television resolution from like 1990 so they may have had all that detail on them and you just couldn't tell because of the resolution of the TV but um yeah good looking belts and if you have the veteran uniforms they go great with those too and that is season two of Star Trek Online Rise of the Red Shirt in the can. What have we learned this season? We've learned... I don't even know what we've learned. I don't remember. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fast metal block. So what have we learned this season? We've learned the foundry is cool. And people have made cool missions that you should play. We've learned that if you want to make a mission a character's greatest failure, you should make it so that it's something that is legitimately their fault and not something you have railroaded them into. We've learned that if you want to have that if you want to set up a storyline, it's necessary to set up a story first and not simply put tons of missions into a storyline that have no connection to each other at all we've learned that if that when you board an enemy ship they shouldn't let you through the front door we've learned that if somebody boards your ship you should try and vent the atmosphere after getting your crew to somewhere safe if you can instead of letting them run amok. We've learned it's a very, very bad idea to marathon recording sessions all night long. It's 4.42 in the morning right now. I need sleep. I'm running on caffeine. And it's wearing off. So from those of us at Rise of the Red Shirt, I don't know who us are. There's at least one of us. Maybe more hiding somewhere. Anywhere? No, just one. From Rise of the Red Shirt, hope you enjoyed this season. Hope you enjoy next season. And I hope you enjoy the next season of Star Trek Online. And I will see you guys later. So... Preparing to fire lance weapons!